Well, hello, I'm Wilfred Brimley, and do you know why I'm always sitting down in front of a cozy fireplace dressed in a short sleeve sweater talking about Liberty Mutual's diabetic testing supplies? Probably because I weigh 450 goddamn pounds, and now... Live from West Hollywood, it's the talk show everybody's talking about. Boom! to Kibbit with your host, he's the man who would be king, the man with one red shoe, the man who shot Liberty Valance. Please welcome Cookie Bernstein. Well, hello, and welcome to Born to Kibbutz. I'm your host, Corky Bernstein, and thank you so much for joining us and being part of our cable TV family. We love you so much. And thank you for all your letters of support, your tweets, your faxes, your Instagrams, all that good stuff. Here's a letter from our best of friends, our number one fan, Edna Greenblatt, who writes, Dear Corky, just a quick note to say how much I enjoy your show. P.S. Do you know why Trump won't run for a second term? Because he's already two timed us. Did I just hear a rim shot? You know what that means, folks. Time for rim shot news. Busted for DUI, Stuart Little to attend Alcoholics Anonymous. Vice President Mike Pence will undergo kneecap replacement surgery from excessive kneeling. Utah rabbi breaks Yum Kipper fast at Denny's over pigs in a blanket. Latest NASA picks reveal Elvis on Mars eating bacon and banana sandwich. Ex-CIA chief Leon Panetta says by night he's lounge singer Tony Bennett. Trump to donate brain to science fiction. And last but not least, TV talk show host Corky Bernstein finds green pepper pizza topping that looks like Mickey Mouse. And welcome back to Born to Kibitz. I'm your host, Corky Bernstein. And ladies and gentlemen, what can I say about my first guest, except that I wanted him, uh, have wanted him on my show since I, I saw him first on Shark Tank. And he's here with us today, all the way from Mud Creek, North Dakota, Harley Farkin. Welcome to Born to Kibitz. Aw, oh, thanks. Harley oh. Farkin. Thanks so much. I almost screwed up your name. I almost said Farley Harkin, but huh? I have to say Harley, <laughs> Harley Farkin. Harley Farkin. You look just like you did on Shark Tank. Well, I haven't changed much. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't, uh, they didn't buy my invention. <laughs> I know. So screw them. But that's what I loved about it. Out of hell with them. Yeah, they didn't figure it out. Nah. Yeah, you were great. Yeah, a bunch of sharks. Now, what, <laughs> what was... Uh, um, uh, the invention that I've come blocking on exactly what was on Shark Tank. You were trying to get financing for uh... it was the recliner toilet seat. <laughs> okay, which is a recliner chair, right? A very, very <laughs> comfortable, ergonomic, <laughs> I might add. <laughs> Recliner chair. Now you're watching something. You're engrossed in a movie. It's the NFL. I have to go. Uh -huh. I have to go. <laughs> what could be easier than lifting up the cushion? Oh my God! Put down the footrest. <laughs> go to town. Relieve oh. yourself. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. And you've got your your popcorn right here. Well, and the got... right on. Um, there's a handle on the right side. Uh huh. Lifts the feet up, right, and the handle on the left side flushes. Oh wow! Yeah, it's fantastic. But they didn't buy it. Wow! They mm. said the, it was cost prohibitive. Cost prohibitive. Yeah, they said. Uh, Did they think it was one of those blooper intros where they give you the gong and thought maybe it was for filler entertainment? But no, they, were they serious. They thought the idea was was pretty splendid. Right. Uh, and then they said to me, well, what would this retail for? Right. And I said, well, I've only built one. Oh, it was a prototype. Yeah, I only built one. That cost me $32,000. So <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. They, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this stuff's not cheap. <laughs> no. So they said, what could, a... you, what could you sell them for? I said, well, if I want to make a profit, 35000 <laughs> They said, who's going to buy a chair for $35,000? Forgive the pun, but that's a high-end market. Hardly. <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> hey, listen. You're good. Oh, that was too funny. But you know what? You cracked me up from the start. And it's like, uh, I had seen you before also... Um, 
didn't they write it write you up in the National Enquirer as was it it wasn't world's worst inventor was it I mean because that would hurt it was uh, uh, well here's the, my problem go ahead I have over 100 patents pending right that's what I know nothing went through no nothing went through no, it's been 46 years my god nothing went through no I started 46 years ago I submitted my first patent right to the US Patent Office and I now have over 100 patents pending and not one of them is uh, so they know you on a first name basis fruition well you think you know. you'd be in by now do you recall the first the first submission I do what was that all about well it was it was called the, the dog carrier <laughs> okay and I thought That's, I thought everyone that. in the country would be carrying a Farkin dog carrier, you know? Absolutely, especially in what? West Hollywood. Let me show you what it looked like. Yeah, okay. Here's a doggy. Can, can you we see, see the doggy? This? Can you see this doggy? Yeah. Okay. This uh, this uh, the the mouth end right is shaped like a bone. Oh, that's an enticing. So it goes in his mouth. So he wants to... The back end screws into his rectum. His tush? Yeah. And you just lift him by the handle. Oh, no. Yeah, and you carry a dog anywhere you want. Oh, no. Yeah, the farkin dog carrier. <laughs> the farkin dog... I thought everyone in the country would be using farkin dog yeah, carriers. Yeah, no, I don't know about that. I would think the PETA people would be after you. No. Sounds like a tongue twister. Apparently, the it was people. very tough to use on well, pitfalls. You see that, ladies and gentlemen? That's good. To, well, that's pretty darn inventive. Yeah. Now, Just tell us about your famous colostomy bag. That one might knock, knock me out. Well, it was colostomy bagpipes. Colostomy bagpipes. Colostomy bagpipes. Ladies and gentlemen, that, two bag, that is a first. Two bags on the top for music. Uh huh. Two bags on the bottom right. for poo poo. So you play. And as soon as the two bottom bags fill up, right. the top bags go up an octave, so you know the bottom ones have to be emptied. Oh, so it's like a music lesson all in brilliant. one. Brilliant. Wow. But unfortunately, most people who tried them were wearing kilts. And <laughs> what was your biggest money maker? Do you recall? Uh, biggest money maker? Probably left and right socks. Left? Left and right socks. Socks, yeah. Oh, that, that's, I mean, that's it's brilliant. so stupid for one sock to have go on both feet. <laughs> you got one big toe here. You got a little toe there. You Aaron put the wrong toe, sock there, on. Toe. The big toe is Everywhere where the little toe, toe, toe is. It's a, it, Yeah. Left and right sock. We got left and right shoes. Oh, that's Why beautiful. Not left and right socks. It's a novelty item. Ah, please. It's an everyday thing. And not only that, it's a stocking stuffer. No, I invented you know that, that religious articles cast? for pets. Religious articles for pets. For pets. Okay. Doggy and kitty uh, crucifixes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yarmulkes for hamsters. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, that was the one you made out of Coffee Mate. Uh, that's right. Coffee Mate. Uh, Coffee Mate. Little tiny burkers. Right. For uh, Islamic pets. Wow, yeah. that's too cool. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. because like like Hanukkah time for uh, for doggy doggy yarmulkes. Yeah. Yeah. What about did you did, little birdie pope hats? Did you invent? Didn't you have f fish? Wasn't fish furniture a big deal? Where you put interesting furniture for fish in, in the, the tank? In the tank. Yeah, yeah, but uh, we couldn't get them to use it. Right. It's so hard to get a fish to lay down on a sofa. <laughs> they just keep swimming and swimming, you know. And, and I thought if you put some comfy stuff in there, right, they, they're going to want to use it. <laughs> they're going to want to no, use it. No, they didn't. Finally, at last, you've written a book by all these, uh, a, a book about all these amazing inventions. And and tell us, tell us about the book and the title and 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 and. Well, you... the book is called. Uh, Edison can kiss my ass, <laughs> and I, I mean, love that. yeah, I have, as I said, over a hundred patents pending. <laughs> Edison didn't have a hundred patents. No, uh, no, he did the light, light bulb. bulb. Yeah, whoop de doo. That was it. Hey, I invented the sporf. Okay, the sporf is a spoon, a fork, and a knife, all in one utensil. Oh, that's brilliant! Like a Swiss Army. The beginning of it is sort of. Curved like this, so That's you could you could part. drink soup. Right. Next to that part are three prongs, so right. you got a fork. Uh -huh. And the last prong is razor sharp, so you can cut meat or cut whatever you want with it. That's brilliant. A sporf, okay. A sporf. That's brilliant. So Shark Tank, 
I tried to get on Shark Tech with the SPORF. Right. They said to me, uh, here were some of the questions. How much would it cost uh, to produce uh, a million of these? Wow. That's a lot of money. How the hell should I know? You're just the inventor. I mean, I came up with an idea. I'm supposed to know how much it's going to cost to make a, that's mi your job. a million of them. Did you tell them that? They said, what's it going to retail for? But that's your job. I'd go in the store and ask them. Exactly. Look at the tag. Exactly. It'll tell you something. Right. Oh, that's pretty good. So I... Uh, let, let, let him, let H Harley do his work. Let me do my work. How about the human it, 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 voice? The human voice doorbell. Tell me that's not a good idea. How did that go down? Instead of when you press a button outside someone's door, right? Instead of going bing bong, bing bong, or anything like that, right? It's a human voice. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> hey, already. Let me in. <laughs> that's nicer than bing bong. Oh, it's your voice. Anyone's voice. Oh, okay. You can record it yourself. Uh huh. You hit the button. Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. You know. No, who needs? I'm not bing, here. Bing bong. There you go. Huh? There you go. Come back another day. So, like I say, I have over a hundred. Wow, that's and, great, man. Now I heard one of your biggest failures was uh, ma uh, um, pork matching pork uh, pork shoes. Pork shoes made out of pork and a, <coughs> a match of purse. Well, I've had a number of food-related inventions. Well, the pork shoes right. were just simply shoes made of pork. <laughs> That's all they were. <laughs> if, you, if you got stranded someplace, you got stuck someplace, you got lost, <laughs> you could cook your shoes and you Oh, could, that's good. Survival shoes. But I did a... Survival I, pork shoes. Sourdough bread sweater. You could eat the sweater? Yeah. If you're it made survive. a lovely sweater. Yeah. And you'd never know it was sourdough. Oh, okay. Until you took a bite of your sleeve or something. Wow. Uh, the pumpkin bike helmets. Ah, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, you cut the pumpkin in half, leave two little things for the ears, and the whole pumpkin thing sits right on your head. <laughs> a perfect bike helmet. Yeah, that's cheap, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. It yeah. takes care of Halloween. And, yeah, and, and, and your helmet smells and nice. And your helmet smells good. Yeah. How about anything in the sex department before, before we say goodbye? Any enhancers or anything for the, for the senior cent, center, the senior geriatric demographic to maybe... Uh, help them uh no i haven't i haven't really delved uh into that area that might be a good area for you to think about i mean it i've, I've always thought about different kinds of vibrators and yeah. stuff i i why someone hasn't come up with a combination electric toothbrush vibrator <laughs> I, I don't understand <laughs> well that's your department my pal yeah well, i'm that's for next yeah. time around ladies and gentlemen harley farkin world's most amazing inventor and we'll be back with our next guest, so stick around. Ha! Thanks so much. This was... Uh, I hope this... This this was lovely. I hope this skyrocket, helps skyrocket you into fame, my friend, because well, you deserve it. Thanks. And thanks not for, uh, for, for not asking any of the real personal, <laughs> you know, sex offender questions. <laughs> and we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, I'm your host, Corky Bernstein. And guess what time it is? It's that time of the year, 2019 predictions. And as always, our resident psychic is here to tell us all about it. Sophie, the roller skating psychic. Nice. Hello. <laughs> <It's so laughs> Welcome back to <laughs> Born to Kibbutz. Oh, I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice. So it's nice. so good to have you on the show. <laughs> It's I forgot great. about that great accent you had. It makes me want to talk no, like that. Oh, you can do it too. You can copy. I'm oh, all right. Oh, that is beautiful. The British Isles, they are so stuffy on that. You can, <laughs> you can copy wow. me. Wow, and you look like a psychic too. Do I? You've like got my, that good mm. psychic vibe. Psychic vibe. But the reason why we always have you on our show, ladies and gentlemen, mm. is because she always, she's pretty right on every time she cuts it. I'm going to go through a few of your... No, I don't know. you got I a good track know. record. I been, no, I haven't done that Well, great. don't, don't, no, don't. I'm just all right. We like your humility, no, but... not so hot. Hey, listen. You Sometimes. predicted Miss Piggy and Kermit the Frog would split up. I did. Way in advance. Yeah, I know. I know. You they know. were supposed to do it a long time ago. I, they finally <laughs> did it. I'm so glad. Well, that was you cool. predicted that former J, uh, uh, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie 
would donate his waterbed to ease the California drought. I thought that was amazing. Do you well, you know, we got to think of everything. Water here, water there, water bed, water drought. Water Together everywhere. Thing, you did, 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 sprinkle all exactly. over. Exactly. I thought God told me. <laughs> yes, yes, I see everything. I heard some of your critics, and you know, I don't mean to bring it up because you're on, you're my, my resident psychic of choice. <laughs> but I heard some of your critics said that she couldn't predict Groundhog's Day. Well, that hurts. Well, I don't really know what Groundhog Day is. Oh, okay. Well, Russia, that's why. So okay, why there would you I go. predict that? Exactly. <laughs> well, now, I understand that you've got a pretty good track record in getting in touch with the uh, celebrities who've crossed over to the other side. Yes, that's right. And that's so right. Um, I was going to ask you, can we do a little experiment right now where you could get in touch with your angels and I could find out what's going on with certain celebrities out there? How would that be? Okay, I'm ready. Whatever you want. All right. Well, you do you want, go I'm into ready. your thing. I'm ready. Let's see. Okay, I'm ready. I'm and ready. let me know when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. How about Elvis Presley? I, I have seen him before. I can see him now. He is, um, well, he's lost a lot of weight. Uh huh. And um, he's taken up knitting. <laughs> he's taken up knitting. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I heard that you predicted that Roseanne will be launched into outer space and be the first celebrity to moon the Earth. I did predict that. That was a good one. No, she moons everybody. Hey. She'll do that. Sophie, the roller skating psychic, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, your mind is like a parachute. It works best when? It's open. <laughs> <laughs>